Hi everyone, Shirtlight here. In the game Gundam Assault Survive, there is a certain mechanic which isn't really explained too well in the game. This video also doubles as a companion piece to the Go Flight School video, since the machine in question is acquired via this exact mechanic. You see, some mobile suits in this game aren't unlocked by clearing levels, playing as something a set amount of times, or obtaining specific mobile suits and parts. They're obtained through the research plan mechanic, which is, of course, not written in English. So, what is the research plan and what does it do? As you might have noticed, in your mobile suit selection menu, you can access the tuning tab by pressing triangle. Here, you can add custom parts to your mobile suit, as well as upgrade various things about it. To perform the latter, you spend the game's currency to acquire so-called tuning points, or TPs for short. It is super streamlined though, so you essentially just have to drag the slider on whichever state you want to enhance, it will tell you how much it's gonna cost you, and how much TP will the mobile suit have afterwards. Then you tap the cross button to exit the menu and confirm the upgrades. The conversion rate of the game's currency to TPs is roughly 100 to 1, which is a bit similar to converting yen to bucks. Anyways, if you go back to the main menu, into the shop, and then switch to the tab with research plan written on it in kanji, by the way, that's the second one from the bottom, and it is color-coded in blue, so you shouldn't have too much trouble finding it on the list. There should be a few items on the research plan from the very start. You have the name of the item on the left, the price on the right, and both the text color and the tab on the right side change depending on your progress. Basically speaking, the way research plans work in this game is that you buy one, you add the specific custom parts to a specific mobile suit, and you shove a specific amount of TPs into it, and then you unlock a new mobile suit as soon as you get into the shop. You can check the requirements for the research plan by tapping the triangle button, by the way. Another thing that I should add is that the TP requirements don't stack. So if the research plan for Ramber Rolzak 1, for example, requires 1500 TP, and if the Tiger Bomb Colony Zaka 1 requires 2000 TP and the Surround Monitor, all you need is the 2000 TP, since that will cover both of them when it comes to the TP department. As you progress through the game, you will gradually get more parts and mobile suits, which in turn lets you unlock more research parts for purchase, and so on. It isn't any more complex than that, so yeah. If you have the currency to spare, the research plan mechanic can get you neat stuff relatively fast. Though mobile suits like the Perfect Ziong and the GN flag will cost you a fortune to obtain for no apparent reason, considering what you actually get for that sum. Anyways, this has been my video on the research plans in Gundam Assault Survive. If you liked it, feel free to let me know. Do you think it's better or worse than the rank-based unlock conditions in previous games? I lean more towards the former since it gives you a bit more freedom, but I'd genuinely like to hear your takes on it. So, thank you all for watching and this is Shirtlight, signing out.